Just firing off things that are <laughs> very clearly not true. Just always, just constantly. Just reinventing game states. We can pack one pick one in Palace Jailer. We drafted it last time and then didn't even play it. That's kind of a bummer, huh? Love Caracas. Maybe we can wheel the Kytheon. I don't want it to be like a signal that White Weenie's open though. Like Caracas is a signal that I mean it's a white signal, but it's not a white weenie signal. Yeah, yeah. If this is pack three, I would take that Caracas and expect to wheel the Kytheon. I'm not looking to play Mar uh, Marari's Wake in my Thalia deck. Flowing. The. Ooh, Adeline's great. That's a nice pickup. The heat went out of my dryer recently. <laughs> and uh, every other day I like half ass try and fix it. Figure out what's wrong. It's not going very well. And I haven't like stopped doing laundry. <laughs> I just like <laughs> let it tumble like four times. <laughs> It takes a lot longer to dry it when there's no heat in there, but it, it still does eventually. You just gotta run it like four times. It's all right. <laughs> all my clothes get tumbled for four hours now. <laughs> what's what's wrong with that? Just getting their airtime. Why not Parallax here? Parallax is kind of a clunky card. You want a tight curve in your aggro deck. Very often a bad breaker. I checked my circuit my circuit breaker panel to make sure that nothing was tripped. Am I wiped after crushing the charity event? I mean I had a day to, to relax. Recuperate all that. Why not Armageddon? Because I like the other card better. Armageddon is one of those cards that has like a really high win rate um, when cast. But it's a little deceptive because people usually aren't casting it when it puts them dead on board. <laughs> and it's uh, extremely poor when you're behind, right? So I don't like it in every matchup. So, so, so uh, I don't value it that highly. I like my cards to be consistent, ideally. Love Hero Blade Hold. Love that card. Just a one card fucking Wrecking Crew. Same reason I like Adeline, right? But right now we only have one one drop, and Figure's a really good one. We got Sideboard Finks for red. I don't really want this stuff. Nice, love that late giver. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a, a full vacuum later tonight. I got one of those shop vacs in the fucking garage. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Mario, 88, 84, I think it's the six months there. Great job in the charity event. Maybe next time I can get a few trophies. Yeah. But sometimes you brick, right? Sometimes you brick. I have played with Cemetery Protector some. Uh, I will likely not be main decking it. I don't think it's quite good enough for a four drop. But there's some matchups I might board it in. Everyone giving me like dryer repair tips. Thanks, Chad. None of this was Googleable. <laughs> this, is, this is really good. <laughs> this is helpful. Gideon's so much better than Hollow Blade. Our group kind of needs Hollow Blade. Let me take Gideon anyway. Yeah, I'll make sure it's plugged in. Good call. Oh, yeah, Life, life of Dota Bum. You gonna come over to my house and fucking fix my dryer? <laughs> did I try a clothesline? I did fucking uh, spread one of my blankets out over like two chairs back to back. Worked. Ooh, if I move to a warmer place, then the dryer will also be warmer. That's the tech 10 off. That's the fucking tech. I bet you save energy. You can walk me through it. Yeah, I'm good. Again. I've got Google. I know. I know you, you're trying to be helpful. You think this is all really helpful. Super not. Did I ever fix that table? I did! Yeah, I thought the wood had splintered, because, like, it had made a wood splintery sound. But then when I, like, actually, like, flipped it over, uh, looked at everything, there was, like, just a screw loose, and that's why one of the legs was, was wobbly. It was weird. Like, alright. I know it's totally fine. Ooh, I love both of these fucking cards. I'm gonna take the Skyclave, but I do love both of these cards. <laughs> Google's being discontinued? Oh fuck, I better listen up. Yeah, people gotta realize that all of their knowledge is super worthless just entirely valueless it's painful because we spend a lot of time and like effort building these life experiences and stuff it, but everybody has it everyone can like watch a fucking video on youtube and do whatever the fuck there's a vid for it Telling your doctor that, you know. Well, doctors are important. Because <laughs> legally, you need them to get prescriptions. So obviously doctors haven't been replaced by YouTube and Google.
Some of them do operate that way, Slap Clopin. Like, I'm being tongue-in-cheek here, but... There's a few, uh... few shitty folks in every field, right? And drug companies certainly treat doctors that way. I remember I went to a few talks with my mom. And they were basically, like, <laughs> trying to fucking propagandize and bribe her at the same time. Like, just, like, throwing a bunch of, like, free swag at her. <laughs> while, while we, like, watched some fucking conference about, like, their fucking overly priced miracle drug. <laughs> Does your client have a headache? Well, they could try this. I mean, there's all these fucking weird side effects and it costs a billion dollars, but, uh... Why not? There's like fucking five-year-old me there, like, ooh, they gave me a laser pointer. <laughs> it says Pfizer on it. Ooh. I joke around a lot, but I do think it's fucked that drug companies can like advertise directly to doctors. I think we're good on equipment. I might not even play the clamp. I don't think we need the sword is what I'm getting at. I'm gonna grab the commando here. I think it's worse, ants in his eyes. Because people trust their doctor. They trust their doctor to have like, studied all the shit and have their best interests at heart and like actually know which drug is appropriate but like advertising works you know propaganda works maybe it's just because like companies swindling consumers on the television is more normal we're like used to it <laughs> has a couple of good targets, mostly the uh, the Skyclave or like Resetting Paladin mid-combat. I guess we have Stoneforge Mystic. I think the Spear fits our curve pretty well. Revoker versus Addison here. It's Revoker. Late strip mine. We do need like one more playable. Got a Jason Dark. I don't really want to play ECD, but maybe. Got a couple walkers to revive. Geddon's playable? Yeah, supposedly. I'll consider it. I'd like it a lot better if we had like some random Moxon or something.
more matchup based than play draw based generic home. Like I want Geddon against control and combo decks, and I do not want them in an aggro mirror. No, that's not combat da damage, Jason Dark. I think I'm gonna play the ECD. Play an extra land. It's too bad we saw that creature land and the strip mine in the same pack. <clears throat> I'd, be, I'd feel better about playing an extra land over the ECD if that were the case. We got a creature land here. I'm pretty down on Finks, but we could play Finks. I think I'm just jam this. Land tax on the draw. Land tax on the play is dookie. It's like a dead card. A board land tax in on the draw. Yeah, I agree, Snow Schwartz. Big same. I've also seen Protector go off, and I also think that it's better in some matchups than others. I do remember when Lane Tax was on the ban list. I don't think it ever belonged there. It was on there when they originally split Vintage and Legacy. It just, like, rotted on there. There were some bad Legacy decks right at the start of Legacy. There's some bad white control decks that might have played it. But I don't think they would have like dominated the format. One drops, no two drops. We can play a three drop on Chin 2 though. Wow, I feel great about this Skyclave. Why I feel poor about this Silverblade Paladin. Interesting choice. Oh shit. Oh, now Skyclave your Jace. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Hey, Agro, thanks for the 12 months. Appreciate you. I think they thought they were going to get their Signet back with the, uh, with the Jace Bounce, and then that didn't happen.
You think Sacklave is a is a color pie break? White doesn't exile things? It's like an O-ring in fucking creature form. Yeah, right, Quacks Quacks? Chat should be a lot more respectful about my mistakes! Just talking about for the opponent. Yeah, them too. Yes, Jonathan Young music. Cube is indeed back. Jonathan Young, I was going through, um, I've been writing, like, a best albums of 2021, uh, article. I'm doing, like, a top 20 albums thing. It's, like, a whole mix of genres and stuff. It's mostly just because I thought it would be fun. Uh, and I was going through old albums that I had set aside to listen to later. And, uh, I don't know if I knew this, but I, like, was completely blindsided by your guesting on the uh, the Bill Murray album. <laughs> I had, like, loved his Eggy Pocket album that came out the year previous. And then I put his, his latest album on. And the first fucking track, I'm like, is that Jonathan Young? That sounds like his fucking vocals. And then it totally was you. And I was like, what the shit? <laughs> Getting those fucking collabs on. It's fucking sick. B Bill Murray is a crazy fuck. His shit is so gas. Extremely meme friendly. A dark side V1 thanks for 26 months. Hell yeah. He did all the remastering on your Disney Villains album? I didn't know that either. Worlds colliding. Worlds colliding right in front of me. Oh, it's fucking dope, yums. Uh, M U R I. <laughs> I don't know if I'm mis I'm probably mispronouncing his name. I wonder if Clam's better than Batter Skull in this matchup. I kind of want Geddon. Control rampy stuff. Alright, hopefully I don't miss the Umazawas. All music evolves into crab cord, give it enough time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Return to crab. I'll put a land back here, and we're not gonna need them. You want the draw land tax hand here. Have I ever listened to Spirit Box? I have. It's not exactly my thing. Wow. <laughs> Do you see what they discarded? They've been Echo, like fucking Oko, like a bunch of crazy shit. Not a bad turn from the opponent there. Should I two double one drop here? Just like one one? Or should I save the Lotus Petal for Gideon or some shit? 
I feel like double one dropping. Yeah, Spirit Box is clearly good. It's just not quite my sort of thing. Hey, Demo Man takes the four months there. Land tax would not be in my deck on the play. Against any archetype. Even if they have fast spawn stuff. Like, if they're fast spawning properly, then you're dead. <laughs> and if you play a land tax, they can still play around it, right? They don't always have the land tax. Or the they, they don't always have the fast bond. You can't count on it. When you're on the draw, though, you can always plan on them being a land ahead. ahead. Drained. Alright. Drain it up. Anyway, got everything we need right here. going not quite as smooth as the first one. Two more fucking planes, we got this. This figure's going the distance. It's going for speed. Hell yeah, thanks, Mastermind. That was a lot of effort. Fucking basically two 14-hour days of a uh, straight cubing. 28 hours! We did a lot of good too. We raised a lot of a lot of money for charity. Uh yep. Put him plant some combo control hybrid over there. Sure. Hopefully we can Get them low enough. The Citadel doesn't just destroy me. Hmm. Hmm. Did we have to stick to a theme? Oh, Reed was forcing reanimator? Well, that's on Reed. <laughs> I played a bit of everything. I've actually got an article coming up that goes, like, it includes all of my trophy decks from the weekend. There were too many to put on Twitter. I didn't want to, like, overload Twitter's service, servers. I didn't want to, like, spam people and overload Twitter's service and, like, shut the whole program down with all of my winning cube trophy lists, because there were so many. So I decided an article was better. Um, and that'll be up, uh, New Year's Day. New Year's Day, I'll, I'll post links. And people can go check it out. See what decks were winning. Included a few like random stats there and stuff, some behind the scenes things. And then I talk about each deck a little bit. What I was going for, how I sideboarded. It will not be behind a paywall, Casey Sun.
possible this keeper is supposed to serve. They can bring the Euro back here, so let me go back up to nine. It'll be on Patreon workshops, but it'll not be a Patreon exclusive, no. One of those early access things. <laughs> yeah, I'll post it next year. Next year I'll get on that. So we have outs to Uro. But we need to top deck them, right? If you were a true fan, you'd already have the link, Brickmaster. That's how my OnlyFans works. Tendrils me? Is this the rarely seen Uro into Tendrils turn? At least you know your correct punishment, Brickmaster. Step in the right direction. If they sack the LED here, here, then they won't have um, it to sack to the boss at all. Hero Storm? I mean, I've played Hero in enough uh, Doomsday decks that uh, I shouldn't mock it. Missed the sack by accident? Maybe. I mean, they don't fucking need the mana, right? They're gonna fucking eight mana here. Brickmaster Flex, thanks for gifting a sub to Tireless Tracker 35. Oh shit, what up indeed? Uh, the band name is Ozymandias. Step one, mind twist my opponent. Step two, play a draw seven. Untap six lands. I think they are still <laughs> just fine on mana. What's some advice I can give it to a new cube drafter? Always follow your dreams. Make sure you have something set aside for a rainy day.
can, but if you have to do something with some risk, let a let a friend or loved one know where you're going. When you're traveling, don't keep your passport and your uh, your finances and your cash in the same location in case you get your uh, your wallet stolen. You can never pack too many socks. Sometimes your socks get gross. Oh shit, what up? Good, always good to have extra socks. Hydrate, stay hydrated. Yeah, hydration's good. That's a good tip. Hey, creator, I think it's the 11 months there. Never play leapfrog with a unicorn. Yeah, or a corn stalk. Sometimes you gotta use your socks to wipe your butt. I've done that before. <laughs> I was, um, I think I was in Spain, and I didn't really understand how the public bathrooms worked, but they did not have toilet paper <laughs> on the beach. Um, and like when when I got out, I realized that there was like like a giant roll like off to the side that you took some before you, before you even got into line at this particular place. But I was just fucking there in the bathroom, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? What is this shit? <laughs> bidet? There was, there was not a bidet. <laughs> Nature's Bidet, the great open sea there. Hey, hippity long ears, except 54 months there. That's why you pack extra socks. You gotta, you gotta pack the extras. Do I have tips on a, how to get more viewers when streaming? Yeah, do anything else. Anything but what you're doing right now. Figure out a way to go viral that's not on Twitch and bring in viewers from that. These are a lot of tokens. Hey, Zen Shadow thinks the 14 months. How do you get, how do you get less viewers? Usually if you talk about your like <laughs> bowel movements that you had while you were on vacation. <laughs> and whether or not they necessitated some manner of socks. Oh man. We'd have a win here if they didn't have two blockers, but they do have two blockers. Because we can give the figure pro red and thanks out one of them. Well, let's see what our draw is. Hmm. Not useful, unfortunate. If we draw the lotus petal, we'd have a win here. Because we could let jump figure and give it flying. They're only at three. But I didn't draw that. And I am dead, right? Let's give her the old twice over. Casting Revoker Deeming Citadel doesn't, uh, doesn't win. They have 30 power on goblins here. <laughs> pro blue? I could pro blue. <laughs> that would be lethal. Hey, I points. Oi, Punk's not dead. Thanks to the 2000 bits there. <laughs> Punk's not dead says socks, bowel movements. I like where this is going. Oh, man. I found my audience. Any changes? I don't think so. Let's jam again.
My audience found me. Yeah, sort of. I was pretty lucky that I already had a bit of a following before I started on Twitch. Kind of impossible without it. Such that I recommend people <laughs> get a following before they attempt to make it on Twitch. Oh, I think I left that fucking land tax in here. I should've cut that. Maybe for clamp or something. Even a land would be better on the plane. There are no Caleb D. Parody accounts. That's how you know I haven't made it yet. Fuck. Yeah, if we were playing, like, Spear... If we were playing Spear or the Silver Blade here on Curve, that'd be some good pressure. But just playing out Gibbering is a little too slow, I think. Oh shit, what up? Hey Brick Master, thanks for gifting a sub to Skinny! Congrats, Skinny. Oh shit, what up? Is Saffron all of the Caleb parody? How dare you? How dare you? I wish I could fucking turn out content like he does. Extremely prolific. Oh shit, what up? I realized I was doing less damage if I serve with both, because then they block the 3-1 and then I have to protect it. If I don't want to discard a card. Hey, cold base takes the nine months. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Constant Gray takes the 47. Apparently you do have 47 months. Appreciate you, Constant Gray. Yoda for sale with the seven month sub, saying all for you. Thanks, Yoda. For you! This shit again, huh? Once again, before I land my anthems or anything. A little bit more of a board this time, but they do have this Omnath. Do we make the Omnath serve, or do we just untap Gibber here? Untapping Gibber is kind of good, right? Are they doing the step one mind twist to you? Step two, play draw seven bit again? Draw seven's good for them, like gives them lanes for Omnath. What round are we in? The first round? We're still in the first fucking round? Oh, a thousand year storm. Well, that's terrifying. If I force the Unmath to serve, block with the human token. 
maybe. What up? Hey, you, you Evolver99. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for sharing that prime. Well, time to die to the Thousand Year Storm. No, I was properly boozed up for Athabog. I'd calmed down. I had that hour of chilling with folks talking about spirits. Thalia would have been a hot one to draw <laughs> at any point earlier than now. <laughs> not looking great, huh? Not looking great here. Depends on what you're playing, Brickmaster. If you want to win a tournament. If you're looking specifically to win a tournament, then you should probably just be jamming hammer time. Until you know it front and back. If you're looking to have an enjoyable time playing Magic the Gathering, maybe that's less exciting. Maybe that sounds like the fucking worst thing ever. It's all about your goals. We're not going to be able to answer that for you. Major says that their neighbor got, a, neighbor got a dog for Christmas. Congrats, Major. Your dogs are great. Glad you all have something to brighten your day. Opponent double gushing. Gushing it up. You love playing Hammer Time? Cool. Maybe people shouldn't throw novels at me, Gay Lincoln. Maybe the fault is not mine here. Dear Caleb D. M. D. G. Esquire, it is a blustery day in late December. I'm writing it to you from the front lines. 
Our rations are holding out well. Just fucking... Jesus. Check roll. <laughs> this mind twist, though. They could have had set so many more goblins. kill the Oko. We can't kill them. I think we're fucked, folks. We can deal them like five here. Losing to some Omnath life gain. They don't liter literally have lethal on board, but uh, they're gaining enough life every turn. They just drew seven, so they'll have a their lane drop next turn. And then Oko can gain them. You know, so they can gain like ten life. We can deal them five damage. It's not a winning situation. Loco with Gideon minus. I can go Gideon minus, activate my uh, other Gideon, and that will be a 5-5. Five five. And then I can make it unblockable and get Oko down to one loyalty. It is Vic City. Sometimes I put a um, Springleaf Druid up there. I should probably swap it out at some point. Oko hit uptick, Teleor. It's a plus two. Goes to six loyalty. We had a food in play. If you're not killing the opponent there, you're not uh, you're not winning. Oh, you're good, elders, millennial. Yeah, that's very uh, very understandable. Haven't played Magic in a while. I'm sure I'd be a little rusty too if I didn't play Moto for however long. GG's for sure.
you're coming back for the free draft is uh, is ideal. Good folks uh, trying out Moto again. That's the whole point. This Banner Skull sucks so much shit. It's just here to like be a turn Stoneforge Mystic into like a real threat and I keep drawing the Banner Skull and not the Stoneforge. A sword would have been a lot better. We also haven't played aggro, which is work and shine. surprised it took them this long to do it yeah I mean we'll see if it was like good and profitable for them obviously the people that show up for their free draft some of those folks also like fire up fire up some drafts after that and that'll make them like way more likely to do a similar thing Interesting. Y'all clamp some shit. they didn't extend to new accounts <laughs> really that was surprising to you you don't think people would make accounts just to draft and abuse it they're still paying out like real prizes show up with fucking Fake glasses and mustache. Uh, yes, I am a uh, Caleb Dunward. Very, very different than the Caleb Durward. Oh, HI Digital, thanks for gifting 10 subs. Congrats to Dolly Odd, to Dusty Dudes, to Platinum Phoenix, to Tom Nath 1, to Yun 7 b one to Wally 1, to Mulder 3, to Extra Sleep, to Cloud Coat Ranger, and to Muppet Pastor X. Congrats to all you fine folks, and thank you again to HI Digital. I win, I'm the winner! Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Oh, it works if you up, oh, up accounts to, to $10 again? Sure, yeah, just... Just completely rework that. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, shit, you're right. That does make more sense. <sighs> Just change how everything else works so that what I said sounds intelligent and then you won't be making fun of me. Fucking dick. Think about cutting the ECD. They are reanimating though, I mean, and I don't have much removal. I saw a revoker target. I like the protector? I like the protector too. Even if it is slower than shit. Should I just cut Stoneforge entirely? It 
is the mall. Wow, this is rancid. Help you learn to appreciate land tax. Well, if you play it turn one on the draw, it's pretty good. It's pretty atrocious literally every other time. I don't have it tiered in one on the draw, so. Ripperoni. Protector won't be too slow. The slow dredging. I don't think they saw the protector either. Is this gonna be the fucking best? Is that what this is? This hit the best. But it's cast it anyway. I think it's cast it anyway. Even though they didn't play a reanimation spell. I was really hoping they were gonna play Exhum so we'd get the adversary set adversary back. I win, I'm the winner! Can we do this? Can we do back to back two and once? <laughs> At the start of the stream. Chat said that uh, now that the, the 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 trophy race is over, I can go back to two, going two and one literally every single time, and it appears that that's what we're doing here. Uh, I never did four three O's in a row. I did three three O's and then I lost a finals and then I won a, a fourth one after that, which is worse. It could have been five. Could have been five in a row. Still time to go one and two? Oh, not with this deck. This isn't a one and two deck. The game I lost in the middle was tragic, yeah. I think I dropped like three or four finals. Which is not bad, because I, <laughs> I won 12 finals. So I'm not complaining there. Just ran absurdly fucking hot. Probably not never gonna run that hot again in like my life. Like I was playing well too, but which is what you kinda need to do, right? You need to like run hot and play well at the same time in order to do well in like any tournament. It was over 50% for Aptus Days. And yes. <laughs> yes, over 28 hours of streaming. I have never done better than an over 50% 50, 50 raid. What is this deck missing to make it 3 0? It's not missing anything, Jigster Pose. This deck's perfectly fine. Just because the deck doesn't 3 0 does not mean that it can't 3 0, right? Not a not, not a good way to think about a match of magic. It's not how the game works. A win round one, right? A win round one definitely would have helped our ability to three zero. I agree. That was probably the main thing that we were missing. Ooh, they spin reanimate. Interesting. Yeah, right, big patches like the <laughs> that, that that last Jun deck in the trophy race. I 
I don't think anyone was expecting that one to trophy. I literally said when I finished drafting it, like, well, time to play a single round. I was I was so unhappy because I was very salty from uh, losing the round previous. <laughs> During the draft, uh, someone in chat said, I think it was Lincoln, unless I'm mistaken, said, you need to stop re replaying the last... You need to stop replaying the last match so you can have time to play this one out. Which was half joking, but also also good advice. Yeah, people were talking, telling me to 1-0 drop after I won the first round. <laughs> people were telling me to 1-0 drop. And I told them the first time, the like the first time anyone had suggested 1-0 drop or whatever, I said the same thing. I said it was the same thing as like folding pre-flop with, with, with pocket kings. Where I could see a situation where it might be correct, but I don't have it in me and I'm, I'm just like never gonna make that call, never gonna make that decision. Hey, Wugaroo, thanks for the 23 months there. One more month to two years, so close. Are we gonna see Lantax do something? Are we gonna see it do something? Well, that's not an option in the trophy race, Shark Fists. They have to play at least one match. So people couldn't, like, see their opening picks. Be like, okay, we didn't get power draft again. Try and, like, farm good decks. <laughs> no second land? Love it. Are we on the play now? Do we just accept that? We've got Revoker and a Paladin. I kind of like waiting another turn. Oh shit, what up? Right now we don't have our like fourth land. Or are they just like overfilling because of the reanimating? Fuck. This might have been a mistake. Hey, Lonely Text, thanks for gifting us some to Shark Fists. Congrats, Shark Fists. Do we see anything for this? Tree one that you can discard too. It doesn't really count. I'm gonna name Recurring Nightmare. I think I wanna name that or Liliana. Someone with the name Sugary Pimp Stick just followed me. Interesting. Sure hope they don't kill my planes, that would be the worst. Here I am with only two planes. <laughs> I would never recover. Oh, this palace jail is about to wreck some fucking shit. triggering the oath once I have mana for ECD, right? Once I can just, like, exile whatever they get. 
Hey, Spiel Lord, thanks for gifting a sub to Sugary Pipstick. Good things happen to those who follow, I suppose. Hell yeah. Names pulled check out? Wow. <laughs> God. Chat's such assholes. We got folks doing good deeds, gifting subs. Hey, Brip Rop, thanks for gifting a sub to Acer Blade. Congrats, Acer Blade. Helping me keep the fucking lights on. Getting daggered. And They did name themselves. I mean, that's why I'm laughing. They didn't name themselves. Emerald the Aeon Storm. Has anyone ever beaten the fucking Emerald the Aeon Storm? Christ, I think the only way I could beat that is if I had a ECD or something, something along those lines. Holy shit! Sugary Pimp Stick! Paying it forward with five gifted subs! Congratulations to Ad King, to Rick Grimes, 420 Blaze It, to Chords45, to Jidam Hem, and to J Plays All the Things. Congrats to all you fine folks, and thank you, Sugary Pimp Stick. Dropping follows, receiving a gift sub, spraying more gift subs. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah, that's all I gotta say.